I mean, I want to pick up on something Callum was saying there, and it occurred to me that, you know, what has been used as justification for the attacks in the Red Sea uh, by the Houthis has been what's going on in Israel. But we do know that there was preparedness in the Red Sea to carry out these attacks way before the 7th of October. And I wonder if some of the thinking was the minute you start opening this up into a parliamentary debate, all of that dirty linen starts being washed uh, in public, and all those heightened tensions we've been seeing in the pro-Palestine marches suddenly get pushed back into the fore, which is probably the strategy that Iran wants to see play out on our streets. Well, I think the, the sort of... The response from the West um, since the 7th of October and the kind of debates that have been uh, being had around, you know, a, sig a significant sort of tacit support for Hamas, you know, that we've seen in pro-Palestine marches and things like that, and a sort of at least a quite a hairy debate about you know, Israel and, and the extent to which government should support Israel, I think has emboldened Islamist forces in basically thinking, oh, you know, now might be a time for us to try our hand. And I think that that has been part of why the Houthis have been emboldened to take the kind of action that they have. It's no, it's definitely linked to the pogrom of the 7th of October and it's definitely yeah. linked, been linked to the response to it. But just, you know, Callum raised an issue about democracy and the act of, and, you know, d to consulting Parliament, and I think, Kevin, you know, lots of people have sympathy with your view, which is that it doesn't move fast. Lots, you know, you do have to take action in emergency. But there have been things recently around, you know, the appointment of David Cameron, mm. um, which, you know, signaled almost overnight a sort of shift in foreign yeah, policy yeah. in terms of the way in which... We you know what Cameron's like in the Middle course, East? Uh, he's, he's, a, he's, a, he's a disaster. Yeah, well, exactly, and that's a, that is a very <laughs> serious thing. I mean, you know, people... Politicians like Tobias Elwood, I might agree with in this very specific instance of a targeted strike um, in relation to attacks on ships. But if you look at sort of what's recently happened with the disaster that we caused in Afghanistan, war in Iraq, I start to get nervous about sort of um, people, British military politicians, getting kind of hawkish around this and, and feeling like they want to sort of rattle the sabres. I mean, there are US troops in the region. There is sort of... There's a lot of force being put in there. Western intervention in terms of what the West playing kingmaker in the Middle East for decades... Doesn't, doesn't, has, hasn't got a great uh, well, track record, it, it, has it? It like, is a large part of why there is such yeah. a destabilised, violent, you know, Islamist yeah, threat in the region. Absolutely.